ESP in the Hole is a new series on this channel and today we are starting it with a bang. Yo, what is going on guys? Alien ESP are back in a video. As I just said and as you guys saw the title and thumbnail, today we are starting a new series on this channel, ESP in the Hole, and we are starting it with a bang with the Shining Fakes Pikachu V box. You probably won't, you in fact you obviously won't know what ESP in the Hole is since I came up with it and it's the first video so I'll quickly explain it. Essentially ESP on the ESP in the hole, sorry, is a new series on this channel where we will open up products such as this, open it up live on camera and essentially look at the pulls we get. Then after the video, I'll go on eBay, look at the price of the cards we got, the noteworthy cards, I'm not going to fuss about the comments obviously, and see if we made profit on that box or not. I'm super excited about it, of course, the price we paid on the box as well will matter. So if I buy a box for retail like I did with the Pikachu V box, that'll be taken into account. If I'm dumb enough to buy from a scalper an inflated price, that'll be taken into account. And if I'm smart enough to sniff out a deal, as I normally do, they will also be taken into account. I'm super excited to start this new series. We're starting with a great box beer. Let's go right into it, baby. So here is the Pikachu V box we are opening in today's video. I'll just quickly um, open it off camera here. I'll talk about um, what is in it. We have opened up one of these on the channel before. Essentially, what you do get is one Pikachu V promo, four Shining Fates packs, a jumbo Pikachu V promo, and a code card online if you would like to redeem that Pikachu V promo. So how is this going to work when it comes to making profit and everything? I will take into account the promos for all the products. Even though you can sell code cards I will not be looking at the price for the code cards simply because of the fact that I do give them all away to you guys so I'm just leaving up the PGV promo I will show that to you guys and if you would like it online here is a code for it and here is the jumbo the exactly the same the only difference is the size difference so I'll put it at the back also I'm showing off a PSA 10 Charizard VMAX PSA 10 Full Art Pikachu and Zekrom GX and a PSA 10 my fair card in my collection Shiny Espeon GX from Hidden Fate yeah and you also do get the main um, thing of this box Four packs of the lovely set Shining Fates. I'm sure we're all a fan of it. We do have two Toxicity, one Corv Knight, and one Dragon Pull. Interesting, we've got no Charizard. Maybe that means we'll have to get the Charizard from the packs. So we're just just gonna kick right off in the first pack, leaving the Corv Knight artwork till last. Because personally, that's where I've got all my best pulls. And I've seen that as a running theme with some other people within the Pokemon community as well. Since pack number one, hopefully we can make profit on this box. Here's the code card, four to the front, as we always do. I'm going to go fire energy, hoping for a fire pull. Grass, but hopefully we still do get that fire pull. So yeah, I also am um, going for a mass set of Shining Fates. I think I'm going to show that off tomorrow. I've wanted to show it off for a while. However, um, I never decided to do so. Oh, we have got something. I think this is going to be Crobat V. And it is indeed. I think this card will actually have a decent price. Simply because the fact it is quite playable because of its ability. So I'll quickly sleeve up. The pack of sleeves doesn't want to open. And was actually missing it from the mass set I was just talking about. So I'll quickly just talk about that a bit more onto pack number two whilst we do do this. I'm going for a Shining Fates mass set. I've got a lot of the cards from it. I've wanted to show it off for a while. However, the number one reason why I haven't yet is because I simply had the Shining Fates product um, unopened that I plan on opening. And realistically, there is no point in me showing off a master set to you guys without like opening it, because that could easily change. You know, gonna go water energy fighting. You know, I could pull the shiny Charizard Vmax in one of the boxes which I haven't opened. So I want to like show off the mass set when I have opened up all of the um, products for Shining Fates, which I do have. And this is the last one that I've currently got in my hands. I did actually order them, both of the Shiny VMAX boxes. They haven't arrived yet. There we go, a lovely Shiny Sobble, as well as a regular Air Manatee. I think Sobble will have a decent price, seeing as though it is one of the Gen 8 starters. And I am also missing this one from my mass set, so I'm pretty happy with that. So back to what I was saying, I've ordered two shiny VMAX boxes, one Crobat and one Dragapult, and they may be coming soon. I pre-ordered them ages ago. Like when pre-orders first went live, I pre-ordered um, both, one of each, for retail price, of course. Didn't want to pay the scalp prices, So and those will be opened on the channel as well. So when they arrive, which I think it should be soon, you know, going to go Fire Energy.
water hopefully that doesn't get rid of our fire but yeah um, it should be soon they said it may be coming soon if not the next wave i'll be in so eventually it will be happening i'm very excited for that so we've got a snob sitting on a bench and a full art shiny ditto my favorite card from this set as well as a regular red dreadnought but that's all right the full art shiny ditto i love shiny ditto the blue it is so so cute honestly look at this cute guy i think because of this guy this guy single-handedly has made profit on this box Honestly, I'm so happy about that. I do, I have already pulled one as well, but you know, I think the other one I did have a plan on grading anyway, because it was in such good condition. So I think I still will be grading that. I would have loved to pull the VMAX. I'm yet to pull that. But, you know, we could do it in this pack. Who knows? That would be, honestly, one crazy box. But I'm happy with that, none the least. Going to go water en energy since that's blue. We just got shiny ditto, which also blue is Mel. I do believe the um, shiny ditto from Shining Fates is actually the first time ditto ever got its shiny appearance within the card game. So that's a pretty cool fact. I believe it's the same laps as well. Regular air coughing will be end the video of a bank. Oh, We've got something. It's fire. I think this is Cinderace V. It is indeed. I have already pulled this and I've already got one in my master set. However, it still does go towards the profit side of it. I think we have, um, we've have. we definitely broken even. So I'm just going to show the pulls off real quick and I think we'll have made profit. Here are the pulls. So we do have the Cinderace V, which we've got in the last pack. The uh, baby shiny Sobble, really do like Sobble, just a funny guy. Uh, Crobat V, quite a playable card. The Pikachu V promo, I'm going to count this, but I'm not going to count the Jumbo towards the profit. And finally, without a doubt, no um, questions asked, the best pull from today's opening, the full art shiny Ditto V. I honestly love this card, look how cute this guy is. So we've just opened all four of the packs, we've just looked on eBay, I've got the card prices, have we made profit? I want you guys to pause the video right now and comment down below, do you think we've made profit as well as the comment question of the day, what your favourite card from this video is. So we're going to start right off with the box price, how much we paid for this whole box, I paid $21.99, I do believe that is the retail price for this, so super happy to find it for what I think the retail price is, and if it isn't the retail price, I know we are very, very close to it. So I'm just going to start right off with the Cinderace V, we've got this in the last pack, as you guys just saw, I'm seeing this sell on eBay for £2.95, alright, so that's about a tenth of how much money we need to make right now. Next on to the baby shiny Sobble, I think this will be worth a fair bit, seeing as though that Sobble is one of the Gen 8 Pokemon and it's quite popular to start with as well. I'm seeing Sobble on eBay sell for £4.50, a bit more than the Cinderace. Next up, the Pikachu V. I'm counting the regular size, I'm not counting the Jumbo. And I'm seeing the Pikachu V Pro myself for £5 on eBay. Next up, the second last um, card we are counting is the Crobat V. I think this will be pretty high, seeing as though it is a playable card, you know, and it comes at two. £3.50p and this is it, the big hitter why I think would win us the, and secure us the profit. Keep in mind I'm not selling these by the way. These are going and still staying in my personal collection just seeing if we can make profit off this kind of box and obviously if you guys decide to do the cards you get from your box could be better than mine. They could be worse, they could be better etc. But back to the point the shiny Ditto V. Has this blue boy made us in profit? Because with the uh, Cinderace, Sorrel, Pikachu and Crowbot we haven't made profit. We're a fair bit so with the shiny ditto, the ditto is worth £6, and if we add up the whole total we get, from what I got in my calculator, £21.95p, with 4p off profit, but I see that as breaking even essentially, you know. You know, when it comes to postage, maybe we'd be a bit more off, but I'd take it. I'm pretty happy with this, you know, for a first try of ESP in the haul, I think this is a really good video. Got some pretty nice pulls, you know, as I was saying, Shiny Ditto V is one of my favorite, it's actually my favorite card from this set, you know. I really think, I think Ditto's cute on its own anyway, and it's shiny, just makes it 10 times cuter. I would have loved to pull the VMAX, seeing as though I do already have a shiny Ditto, however, getting another one is great, seeing as though the other one I planned on grading anyway, meaning I have to buy another for the binder. So now I have this one for the binder, and I was checking between the two. The one I pulled off camera is in much better centering wise. So this one will be going in the binder, whereas the other one 
which you guys didn't see me polish before I start the channel, will be getting graded. So I will be doing a PSA returns when it does come back. That is all for me in today's video. You guys saw me open a Pikachu V box and attempt to make profit and we did fail on that. But hey, we still had fun opening and that was the point. I never planned on selling these cards anyway. I don't sell my cards in the first place. Make sure to answer comment question of the day. That being what is your favorite card from this video of mine. Definitely the shiny ditto. Hopefully I'll see you guys again. Got a plethora of content on this channel. Battle style. EV heroes talking about that. When will we see a god video on that? Hidden Fates. I know a lot of people love Hidden Fates. I've got a Champion's Path on this channel too, and to be honest, I can't say the same about Champion's Path. Personally, I don't even like it on the TV, especially after that elite training box we did open. But yeah, that is all for me in today's video. I've been nearly in SP. You guys have been the best, and I'm in the best views on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.